he tells a story about um he he did a lot of work with snapchat mm -hmm. and uh he he, he 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 you know he came he said i'm going all in on snapchat and um and then 18 months later he dropped snapchat snapchat Mm -hmm. um and um and he said well yeah okay so i did snapchat for 18 months but in those 18 months i learned a lot about video how to create short form video um videos that people will watch so he said that it's not that i i wasted my time by doing stuff on snapchat i still came away with learnings that i've then taken on to to, to new things yeah well said. Tim Hughes, thank you for being our guest today. If You're you welcome. want more Tim Hughes, check him out on LinkedIn. Now, what do you do? It does raise a question. What do you do when you have a relatively common name? No, no offense against us Tims. Is it harder for people to find you on LinkedIn. If you meet someone at a, a marketing event, a convention or a conference, I assume you're not giving out business cards. What do you do with people who have common names? Um, Cause I've had you, people say, Oh, I can't, I, I can't even find a TJ Walker on LinkedIn. Sometimes there's so many. Uh, God, I've never been asked that before. Uh, I, I, well, I, I, I'm, I've tried to set myself apart by um, having my name as Timothy Tim Hughes. So gotcha. I'm picking up people that are searching on Timothy, which is my, which is what my mom, only my mom calls me. Um, and, and, ah, and, you know, I, I, and I apologize. Sometime I will let you go today, but I was going to do the whole verification thing on LinkedIn and I started it and it says you, you have to have a government ID verifying the name you have on your account. Well, my name, I go professionally by TJ Walker. Well, my full name is Timothy John Walker. I couldn't figure out what to do at that point. So I gave up. What did yeah, I do wrong? So, so to have a, they keep nagging me about verifying my name. It's the, the, what they want is you have to have the name that's on your passport. And so my name on my passport is Timothy Hughes, but I don't want to use that on LinkedIn. Yeah, that's what that's what I faced. So did you get around that or what happened? No. So you're not verified and that's not a problem. No, I, 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 you know, it's it's no. It, the, the, one of the things is that they don't LinkedIn don't like um, uh, people changing. Uh, so, so there's one in there's one person that basically had a rainbow uh, between their name. So LinkedIn basically said you've got to you've got to take the wet rainbow away. So they changed their name by deep pole. So their name is first name rainbow second name. So they then went back to LinkedIn and said, no, my name has is rainbow. <laughs> so they actually changed their name to the uh, and and it's, it's it's LinkedIn's trying to you know they don't like the fact that I've got well they, they they don't like the fact that I've got Chinese characters after the after the name. Yeah. Um, what they want is the name that's only possible. Yeah, they they also seem really weird about middle names. If I plug in someone's middle name, it just seems like whoa, it seems like I broke the whole system. And I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but what happens when you plug in someone's middle name? I just find it goes completely on LinkedIn when I'm doing a search. Um, yeah, because I think what it's it's trying to do is it it it's, if you take Elizabeth, it will be trying to you know it could be Betty Walker or or Liz yeah. Walker or Beth Walker or. Um, and so, you know, there's Robert and Bob and stuff like that. So I think what yeah. it's trying to do is it's it's kind of and from a computer perspective, it's kind of going into that loop and immediately uh, it takes a you know, couple of seconds to actually. Think it is a little it. tricky. Tim Hughes, thank you so much You're for welcome. the insights. We very much appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Take care.